Alright, we're back for round two. This hand is actually very good. We're on the draw. Um, there are a lot of ways we can pull ahead here. Opponent's playing red, white, aggro. Foundry Street does and might indicate devotion of some kind, or it might just be an aggro deck. Some random brew. Yeah, I think it's just like a Sly-esque aggro deck from what I can see. Mardu Scout cast with dash. Interesting. Okay. We're definitely casting Corsair here. And shipping the turn. Next turn we can cast another carry you did and have three blockers unless they remove the courser. I'm guessing one of the big um one of the big incentives to splash white is chain to the rocks. Or something like that. The stance. Wow. I don't like the way my opponent's playing. Because I take two but I get to block the oh they're stoking. Never mind. It's a solid play. So I'm casting another carry did and hoping to weather the storm. Still don't know what the white is for. This uh, this matchup gets so much better post board. Oh man, another Rabble Master is bad news for us. I think we have to block here, go to one. Yeah, nothing to do. All right, well. So let's start sideboarding. Definitely bring in the disciples. Whisper Woods, Strikes, and Tactics. Some cards are just too slow. Let's see, what, what don't we want? We want all the Mana Dorks. Nylee can come out. Some number of Eidolon of Blossoms can get cut. Possibly some number of Genesis Hydras. All of the team or ascendancies can go because those are just awful. Uh, some number of boon satyrs can also get cut. I like everything from here. Eidolon actually trades favorably with a lot of our opponent's stuff. So you want to cut the boon satyrs and one Hydra and one Eidolon. I definitely want to trim on the top deck, on the, the top the top end of our curve somewhat, but um, I like I like what, I like how Eidolon um, interacts with a lot of our, a lot of what our opponent is doing. So, like all of their, all of their X ones and X twos, Eidolon draws a card and then trades in combat. Helps us get to our late game, which is nice. I would like to play first. Thank you for asking. This hand is a sneep. We get turn two Corsair of Crufix into some really awesome stuff.
Oh wow, Satessin Tactics is just great. If we draw land, we can idle on. Or double tactics. Oh, wow, opponent plays an idle on the Great Rebel. Hmm. What do we do here? I think we just use the test and tactics while I have a chance to, to get both of these guys. And that just leaves us ridiculously ahead. Fight. Fight. Yeah. Pretty crazy. There's there's no way our opponent's coming back from this. Yeah, they just concede. That, my friends, is how powerful Satessin Tactics is. If uh, we can get on the board quickly. Don't want to change anything on the draw, do I? I think these Eidolons can come out for Boon Saders on the draw. Just because um, we want to lower our curve a bit. We don't, we don't want to be uh, playing from behind so much. Or we, we will be playing from behind, and Eidolon doesn't do well with that. I um, think I also... No, I think we're good. I think that's fine. One Eidolon is fine. Three Hydras is pretty good. We'll go with this. Just lower our curve. Give us more, more ways to trade one for one in the earlier turns. We are on the draw. If we draw one land, it turns lightning strike on. Yeah, I think this hand is very good. Even if we don't draw lands, uh, if the opponent doesn't have removal spells, we're in fine shape. And maybe the opponent just doesn't draw lands. So no searing blood here and we're fine. Is essentially Okay. Well we need a land. We didn't get a land. It's not good. I think I wanna run twenty-four. I've been having um problems with with mana before. Before this, I think I want to run in 24th land. Jeez, really? Okay, well. We have two lightning strikes. So we can definitely fight back from this. If we top deck an untapped land right now. Or if our opponent doesn't have a removal spell. <laughs> sure. Six, seven, eight, we go to three. I have to block. Four, five, go to six. The top deck will land or we're just dead. If I don't block here, then it's bad. All right, well, that happened. That was quick. Um, don't, don't have too much to say about that one. I just kept a, a risky hand on the draw and we didn't get there and our opponent had our opponent had it, so 
unfortunately we are already out of this daily but um we're already out of the money but i will be bringing you the next two rounds because it's not elimination um i definitely want 24th land probably in place of one of the saber tooths but i'm not entirely sure we'll see i think i mean most most lists with this deck had 23 lands and I just don't think that that's enough. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will be uh, be back soon.